bantu spotlight ya. Oke, okay. okay, good morning and welcome to the English discussion about living in the four uh, climate ya. Yeah. So, today we have a precious guest. Uh, sis Kathy Hoffman and sis my sister, my old sister, oh. my precious friend. Uh, and you know, Kathy is ever uh, live at Palangkaraya. For how long, Kathy? I forget how long you stay at Palangkaraya. Uh, maybe almost four years, maybe three and a half years in Palangkaraya. And before that in Java. Yeah. Okay. So Kathy, uh, no bahasa also, but today, You all practice this. <laughs> <laughs> so we uh, we will give uh, the in the the end of discussion if Katie want to speak in Bahasa, if uh, she want to uh, remind about the Bahasa language. <laughs> okay, but uh, now uh, we will talking or discussing about the season, climate or weather in Katie's place. Why? Because in Indonesia we only have two two seasons, a dry season and rainy season. So uh, we need to explore. We need uh, somebody to share about the season in the other country. And I don't know why, but I remember you, Kathy. And I think I want to use this time uh, beside to uh, with you. And also, I believe you have a, a talent to teaching. So I want, I want you to inspire my students, inspire my students uh, how to teach about the weather or climate or seasons topic to the kids. And you also can share everything about this topic. Okay, so everybody, right. <laughs> uh, listen carefully. We have a very precious experience, precious moment this morning. And we only have a short time, but uh, I hope you all have a good time. Okay, Katie, this time for you. All right, selamat pagi semua. Selamat Can you say pagi? Say pagi. All right, let's let's teach them about weather, huh? Okay. Okay. Weather. Weather. All right. So first of all, <laughs> I'm going to teach you guys about the four seasons because it's very hard to imagine what it might be like if oh hold on Emma if you don't um, live in this area. So I live in the north, very close to Canada. So I'm very far north in the United States, in the state, in the state of Washington. So we have four very different seasons. Um, I'm going to use this book. This is an example of something you might be able to read, um, or you can find different books. There's a lot of different books about different seasons but it had good pictures. So I can use it. So the first season is winter. This is actually my favorite season. I love snow. And I'm gonna show you snow today because it snowed. I'm super excited. But first of all, I'm gonna show you one of my favorite things to do in the snow. Do you guys know what this is? <laughs> It's an ice skate. Um, So if you go really far north in Canada and even some places around here, the lakes freeze. So you just put these on and you get a skate all over the lake. You have to be very careful though, because if it's not cold enough, the ice breaks. So you don't want that. Um, so actually, since we're talking about weather and winter, I'm going to show you what a toddler or a preschooler wears when they go outside. Since Emma's here, I thought she was going to be with my husband, but he is taking care of the other two kiddos. So Emma, should we show them what to do? Should we show them how to get ready? I get ready for okay. my Okay. So I'm going to prop this up. This is our tree here, our Christmas tree. So, okay. I'm going to try and prop this up. Come here, Emma. Let's show them what you wear. These are snow pants. So you wear regular pants 
Chalana. And you have to put more pants on. So they're thick. This is why it takes a long time to go anywhere. <laughs> okay, we're going to show them how to do this, Emma. Okay. I you wear this coat. That's right. You wear that coat. But first we had to put on your pants, right? Okay. Yeah. And then we're going to go show you the snow outside. Because it's very beautiful right now. I like him. Yeah, do you like them? Okay. So, whoops. Yeah. That's right. Out. Oops, sorry. Okay. Then we have to put the coat on. <laughs> and we have to zip it up because there's a lot of snow out there. Here, stand up. <laughs> Preschoolers are the same in every country. <laughs> they have a lot of energy. Okay, where's your zipper? Here we go. Woo! Hold on, don't move. Don't move. Stay the same. <laughs> okay. Then we have to put socks on. <laughs> Cow's cocky. Mm -hmm. On a very wig wiggly three year old. <laughs> then we had to do boots, snow boots. This is another type of snow boot here. So they're not the same as rain boots. They're waterproof on the outside, but they're thicker on the inside. And wiggle on that. Look at you. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> then let's put your hat on, okay? Then we have to put a hat on. There we go. And what's the last thing we have to do? Gloves. Gloves. Oops, bonks. Sorry. That's it. Okay. Okay, let's put this on. Put your hand in. Okay. There we go. Okay, we're going to take you guys outside to see the snow, okay? Hi. Okay, let me change this. That direction. Okay, come on, Emma. Let's go show them outside. Go. Yeah. I know. My hands are warm. Okay, guys. Wow, we have a virtual tour. Oh, no. Yeah, this. Oh, oh, my that's, my, that's my husband pulling <laughs> up. So see how wow. everything's white. Emma, do you want to show them the snow down here? So it's dark here. We look at snow. It's amazing. So <laughs> thank you. They like to put lights on their house and wow. it's like powder here, but it's ice. <laughs> so it's really cold if you play with it too long without gloves. All right, Emma, let's show them the sled. And then I have to show you the other essentials for weather in the winter. Shovels, we have lots of shovels because we have to move the snow around and a sled here this is my sled i got this year and this is <laughs> everybody's getting home sorry so this is a sled and we pull each other around on that or we go down steep hills on that so anyways yeah do you want to pull emma andrew can you say hi hey emma can you get in the sled and andrew's going to show you how or show them how we do the slide. Oops, sit down, girl. There you go. So we pull each other and we go down hills. And that is winter. Can you guys come on inside? Come on, Emma. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna continue in here this is one of our really big pumpkins from fall season do you want to watch them out there yeah All right. okay so that is winter 
So the trees have no leaves on them and it's cold. And we do a lot of things around ice and snow. And we drink hot drinks like hot chocolate and tea. Although you guys drink tea every day there as well. So the next season I'm gonna show you, I'm just gonna use the book, is spring. And spring is often, here I'll turn this here. Often when all the farms have their babies. So there's a lot of new life in spring. And usually the trees are moving from this where there's no flowers to little bits of green. Right here, you'll see that. So I have an activity here, which I'll show you as I'm teaching you about weather. This is something you can do for kids. You can have them draw their hand. This is my hand, so not super small and cute, like a little preschooler's hand. And I think for this kind of thing, I use marker. One second. Yeah. Um, but I think you could have little pieces of things you could glue on. So this would be spring. All right, I need to plug my phone in here. One second. All right. And so spring, during the spring, I usually garden a lot. I plant a lot of seeds. Um, you guys are fortunate in Indonesia to be able to garden all year. Although you do have seasons like um, manga season, right? I miss mangoes yeah. so much. <laughs> Then we have summer. Oh, is there a question? Nope. Okay. Um, then we have summer and our trees get really, really full of leaves. Say that again. Nope. Okay. Um, so in the summer, we have all the different trees, um, with all their leaves and it gets very hot. So it gets about as hot as Indonesia, sometimes a little bit hotter, although it's not quite as humid, depending on where you live in America. Some places are very humid. Our area is very dry, very dry. So we have summer here. That'd be our summer tree. And in the summer, people like to go hiking. We like to go swimming in the lakes, the same lakes we could ice skate on, but they're very cold even in the summer because the water comes from the mountains, off the ice, off the mountains, into the, um, through the rivers, into the lakes. So it's super cold. It's not like Indonesia where it's, it's nice and warm. <laughs> so I don't usually swim very long, just a few minutes. Then the farmers start harvesting everything. We have a lot of wheat in this area. So all of our fields turn yellow, which is really beautiful. And our trees here, this, this book doesn't show it. Our trees here turn beautiful colors. We get yellow, we get orange, we get bright, bright red. Super gorgeous. It's just like a a boom of color. Every season is a boom of color. Mom, open this. Hold on, go ahead, that. Open this. One second, Emma. Here. And then at the end of fall, it gets colder and colder. Oh, here's a fall picture. I forgot about this picture. This is what it looks like. We have really big pumpkins. We, um, we make pumpkin pie. That pumpkin on my front porch is from my friend. She has very, very big pumpkins. Um, my pumpkins are all very small. And corn, a lot of corn. I miss the corn in Indonesia, the corn that's grilled. That, that's very good stuff. Then it goes back into winter and snow comes again. So that's a book of that. So, 
so the weather, the trees is one thing we can do with preschoolers. I think for this one, it would be very fun to have different pieces of uh, color uh, paper. And for winter, if I had cotton, little cotton balls, that would be really fun to put on here or something that's white like snow. That'd be fun. And you could put little animals like baby birds in the spring. So in the spring here, we get a lot of baby birds. We also get baby owls and hawks and eagles. We get a lot of those big birds. All right, so that's the trees. I also have a little doll activity here that I printed off. Um, so to teach the kids, it depends on how big or how old the kids are. So this is something I found online. We can have habitats or not habitats, but seasons. Um, we can print off the seasons. If the kids are old enough, they can color these themselves. So my kids that are older helped me. And um, if they're younger, you can color them and clip them um, apart, cut them out. And you could even laminate them. And you could say, you could say, oh no, it's cold outside. It's winter. What is he going to wear? Do you think he's going to wear shorts? Arr! And you, you'd say, no, that's so cold. So you'd put pants on him and he would need a sweater because it's snowy now and a hat and probably a scarf and mittens. There's all kinds of things you can do. Um, and you can do it for every season. I only cut out winter and summer, but I did cut out these things, but for the clothes. So my kids have been having a ton of fun playing with these paper dolls and your kids in your classes can have a lot of fun. You could put magnets on the back of them if you wanted to make it a magnet thing or put it in just a tray. If you're only teaching one season at a time, you could just do one doll at a time. So that's an idea for that. I also thought to myself, I could make snowballs, although this is blue. You'd probably want white. This is just, um, I don't remember the word in Indonesian. It's just paper, you know, for presents. Um, and you could have the kids crumple them up into snowballs because one of um, everybody's favorite activity in the winter is to make snowballs and throw them at each other, which sounds kind of crazy, but kids will have snowball fights where they will throw snow at each other for hours and hours and they make these little snowballs. And so what you could do, because these don't hurt, they're very soft, is you could all make a bunch of these and you could have a snowball fight. You could throw these around the room, you could throw them in a bucket, you could throw them um, at each other, over each other, as long as it's, you know, soft, something very soft. But that could mimic or rep replicate um, a wintertime activity. Since it's kind of hard to um, create ice, <laughs> to, to ice skate on. Hold on, Emma. Emma, do you like these dolls? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Can you go give it to dad? Yeah. Um, also in the winter, for Christmas, we tend to stick up all our Christmas decorations, which you can see this is a tree from off the mountain here, um, an evergreen tree. And we will stick up Christmas Advent stuff. I have, I actually have an activity from Kelly Montan. You might recognize this right here. This is from Kelly Montan. I miss Kelly Montan a lot. Um, and Americans do countdowns. I think a lot of people do. Um, each of these numbers will turn every single day. They all have a name of God, like Abba or Emmanuel, um, to remind us of the story of Christmas. And wear these, Emma. I don't think I can wear these. Not inside the house. Emma wants me to put these on. <laughs> Okay, let me turn this. All right. Emma, do you want to go with dad? Okay, can you take that with dad? Okay, go take that with dad. All right, my husband's home. So, 
Ya, go. <laughs> yeah. Okay, go with Dan. <laughs> She's going to go with Dan. <laughs> Yeah, so those are some of the activities in the fall. We like to rake up all the leaves and we like to jump in the piles of leaves. That's one of our favorite fall activities. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of other ones. Do you guys have questions or Uni, did you have someone who wanted to ask a question first? I can't remember. I will give the chance to Rainy or Windy if you want to ask something. Uh -huh. uh, the winter, especially, or the other season, or everything you want to ask, please, Rainy or Windy. Hello, Mom, Kitty Hopman. How are you? Good, how are you? My name is Rainy. I live in Palankaraya. Ah, I miss Palankaraya. Yes. Mm, I look to ask men, Yeti or men. Mm, one dash Yeti, mom Yeti, her men, let's wait up. Say that again. Dash Yeti, hop men, mom's leg with her. Oh, do I like weather? Winter. Oh yes, winter. Yeah, I love winter. Some people do not like winter, <laughs> um, but I love winter. It's beautiful. It's sparkly. It's it's very nice. Um, but I have friends too that don't like being cold, so they they wear a lot of clothes and try and stay warm. <laughs> yeah. Have you? You haven't experienced winter. What do you think winter would be like? Would you would you want to try ice skating? <laughs> and what is what she said that Katie Holman, Mother Lake? Please repeat it. What she said, does Katie open mother legs? Oh, not like? Hmm. <sighs> I like all seasons. Um, we have one month here where it gets very, very hot. And I don't like it when it gets too hot. So summer can be hard sometimes. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Reni. Nice try. <laughs> okay, Windy, you want to have a question? Yes, hello, Mom Kitty. How are you? I'm good. How about you? I'm good. My name is Windy. I have Question for you. How many degrees is the temperature out there when winter? Ooh, good question. Um, are you wanting to know how different it is from Palankaraya or hear how, um, how different it is in each season? Because Let's, let me think. I only know Fahrenheit um, because it gets to zero or less in the winter here, Fahrenheit. So what is that in Celsius, Uni? I don't know. <laughs> I'm um, <laughs> very cold. Uh, and then when it gets hot, it gets over a hundred degrees here in Fahrenheit. But in Indonesia, it only gets to maybe 85, 90 degrees. So it's hotter than Indonesia and colder than Indonesia. <laughs> Indonesia's in the 
Um, is it possible the weather change faster? Um, is it possible that winter changes faster? Is that the question? Can you repeat it? Is the possible the weather change faster in your country? Oh, yes. Yeah, the weather changes very fast. Yeah. And some days are warm and some days get very cold too. Yeah. So we, we change our clothes a lot. I have a box of clothes for when it's hot and I have a box for clothes when it's cold and I have to change them a lot. <laughs> okay, thank you, Kitty. Yep. So. Okay, uh, Kitty, what did you say before? Uh, what Fahrenheit? Yeah, it gets to maybe minus five Fahrenheit. Minus five. Yeah, so Fahrenheit. in Indonesia, um, minus five means minus 20. Point six Celsius. Yeah. So cold. Oh my so God. Cold. It's freezer. <laughs> yes. Not always. That's the lowest it gets in January. And then it gets to, I think it got to 110 degrees Fahrenheit this summer in oh. August. Yeah. 120? 110. And 10. Yeah. So in Celsius is 43. Celsius is so hot. Yeah, <laughs> hot so, hot. So, so hot. So <laughs> hot. Wow, so hot. <laughs> more, more than Indonesia, yes. Indonesia is cold compared to, yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's, so adik-adik uh, mahasiswi jadi tahu ya, kita dapat informasi baru. Uh, perbedaan, nanti kalian bisa browsing, itu ada di converter Fahrenheit to Celsius. Itu ada, nanti kamu tinggal ketik berapa, itu nanti muncul di situ langsung berapa suhunya. Sekarang itu information is so global and it's easy with Google. <laughs> so you just yeah. type it and you will find the answer. Okay, thank you for Windy and Rainy. You already try uh, to brave. I want to embrace them to be brave, to speak up <laughs> like me before you know me. <laughs> I'm also learn to be brave. Jadi jangan khawatir ya, Dede ya. Saya juga yeah. WD dulu, jadi harus belajar right. sampai sekarang juga I'm still learning gitu. But Katie is so patient and she's one of my uh, best friend, my tutor in English to and always to support me to be brave to speak up in English. No worry uh, about the grammar. <laughs> yeah. so, Don't worry. My when I started learning Indonesian, it was very scary, very scary um, to practice speaking with Indonesians, but Indonesians are so patient, sangat sabar, and always smiling, and they would let me try and practice. <laughs> so yes, we have to practice. Yeah. Okay, so uh, Katie, you want to continue your story and then uh, we will open the question again from the audience or what? You, maybe, uh, maybe let's open questions and okay. then I'll think of things as they ask more questions. Okay, so uh, anyone here want to ask questions, just raise hand and open mic or unmute yourself and you have the precious experience to speak with native <laughs> so no worry remember no worry about the grammar or the pronunciation we we'll just try kapan lagi ayo silahkan ayo indri atau siapa yang depan saya ada indri nursiana oke okay, come on <laughs> Oke, okay, Nika, Nika, you wanna try? Yes. Oke. Okay. My name is my name is Nike. Hi. I like to ask. Hi. Um, what food do you like from Indonesia? Ooh. Everything. Um, soto ayam. 
uh, sate I am. Um, nasi goreng. <laughs> uh, es apocat. The the drink with avocado and chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> they don't have that here in America. Um, let me think. Hmm. Yeah, Samoa Soto. Yeah, Sayasuka Soto. So thank you, Lynn. Yeah. Okay. Any other question, Nika? No. Not yet. Okay, thank you, Nika. Thank you. Okay. Who else wanna try? Anyone? Just raise your hand and unmute yourself while we are waiting. Uh, maybe I want to ask uh, Kathy about the uh, the months. For example, uh, January to April, maybe it's about the fall or what the, oh. uh, the months okay. mean about the every season. Yeah, good question. Winter starts in December. So December, January, and February, and part of March are winter. Sometimes we get snow in April too. Um, but spring starts at the very end of March. So we have spring, March, April, May, part of June. And then summer is June, July, August, and part of September and then fall begins September, October and November and part of December. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so winter at December to a half March and then spring, March and half June and then after spring summer yes. summer at uh, part uh, June June and then September. Uh-huh. And then we uh, got fall at uh, the part, maybe September to December. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good question. Actually, the book I had, I think Emma took it. Oh, no, here it is. Has, let me see. I think it had one page with all the months. Um, no, for, oh. for your information, uh, Adik Adik Mahasiswi, uh, Beda ya di Amerika dengan di Eropa, uh, mungkin di Korea atau di Australia itu bulannya beda. Kalau oh, yeah. seasonsnya, oke. Okay. Kalau sekarang posisinya Katie, Katie at the state United States. Uh, as, uh, what the exactly your place, Katie? Um, Washington State, Spokane. Oh, the capital ya. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no. Washington State, so it's near Canada. Let me get a map. Uh, okay, it's it's a cold near an um, near Canada oh, okay. on the west side. Let me see if I can find a map. Actually, okay. Jadi beda beda ya, Gak, Jadi yang saya tulis di kolom chat itu uh, four seasons yang pembagiannya itu mungkin beda dengan di Australia. Pasti beda di Australia sama di Inggris, UK, or at Korea or Japan is different. Woo. Sorry, I'm moving here. <laughs> yes, we have a virtual tour. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Is my camera on the picture or is it on me? I can't tell. It's up to you, Kathy. Is it... Can you see the picture of America here? Not yet. Still on okay. face. Oh, is it still my face? Okay. For some reason, it's not changing. Yes, already. That's the map. Is it the map? Yes. Okay. We got it. All right. So, can you see the pink state here? Yes. So, this is where I live. So, this is the whole United States. Mm -hmm. And I'm right up here. So, Canada is up here. And our friend Rebecca lives in the other pink state wow. <laughs> down here. Our state is not pink though. <laughs> and then Mexico is down here. So I'm very close. It's about two hours. I can drive to Canada in two hours. Wow, it's so cold. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, so uh, we already learned about the geography also, yeah. Beside the weather or the climate or seasons, <laughs> yeah. So many things we learn from Katie today. So any question? Any more question? We still have about uh, 26 minutes left. Come on, want to have? Okay, Istikoma. Open your mic and you can ask your question directly to Kathy. Thank you so much for the opportunity, Miss. Uh, before that, my name is Istikoma, Miss. Uh, it's a pleasure to be in this now and have a conversation with you. Uh, you said that uh, you talked about the temperature when in the winter and the summer. Uh, so that is uh, so different, uh, different temperature, uh, different temperature. So yes, uh, does that make uh, a, a effect for the children? Or uh, maybe does if in the winter the children get sick, or in the summer uh, they uh, how how to say? It? I apologize, I I don't know how to how to say it. Uh, maybe. The children get very hot or maybe sick because of the temperature of the the season. Or how we, I I'm curious about that. Thank yeah, you. that's Thank a you so much. That's Thank a so really much. really good question. Um, it is different. the The kids are affected. Um, in the winter because we're all inside because it's cold, people do get sick more. Um, and the changes of the weather. Um. So people get sick here usually in November and December. <laughs> a lot of sick people right now. Um, and, oh, here's another very interesting thing. It gets very dark early because we're so far north. Our time of day that it gets dark is different than Palankaraya. So in Palankaraya, it got dark the same time every day which is very consistent, very routine, which is very nice for kids because it gets dark and they go to bed. Here, it gets dark at maybe 3.30 in the winter. And so sometimes we get a little sleepy before it is actually bedtime. And in the summer, it doesn't get dark until 10 p.m. or a little later. And so kids will stay up and they'll say, mom, it's, it's daylight, I don't need to go to bed. And I say, no, it's 10 o'clock, you need to go to bed. <laughs> but it's a little confusing sometimes. So in the winter, sometimes people sleep more than in the summer because it's so fun in the summer to go outside all day long. Um, yeah, in the summer, it can get very, very hot. And People here don't all have AC because we only have um, maybe one month that's very, very hot, or maybe we have one small air conditioner. Um, I thought when I moved to Indonesia, I would not need an air conditioner, um, but I, I did buy one because it was hotter there. And then when I moved back, when it got really hot after a year or two, I bought one that we can stick in our window. Um, and so if it's very hot, the kids will also stay inside. So, or they go to the lake. A lot of people here go to the lake and they stay with family at the lake or they go camping. Um, a lot of people here love to camp when it gets hot to survive the heat. <laughs> very good question. Thank you. Yes, that's a good question, Istikoma. And your English is good. So you must improve it. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so we got information again about the temperature. So it's uh, it's new for me to hear. So that 10 p.m. is still like a daylight. Yes, yeah. I can imagine how uh, you asked your kids to sleep, but it's yes, this is a daylight. <laughs> yeah. Why? But, but the time is still. But the time already denied. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. I cannot imagine <laughs> how to explain to the kids, especially uh, little kids. <laughs> yeah. So we have these things on our window. I'll show you. Um, if I can turn it around. These here are very thick so that it keeps the sunlight out in the summer. 
it, they're called, uh, what are they called? Blackout curtains so that the light can't get in. So we have those on the windows in the summer so that our kids will sleep. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's a good tips. <laughs> we can, uh, them. So if you come up here, yeah, with your kids, you have to pull all the blinds down and be like, oh, it's nighttime. <laughs> <laughs> what time uh, you have a sleep, uh, daily sleep every day? Usually about eight o'clock. Oh, I see. Yeah. Uh, right. Yeah. Right. Uh, but Indonesia is very nice. It was very routine. We had yeah. dinner and then got ready for bed, read books, went to sleep. It was so easy. And then we moved back here to America and everything kept changing all the seasons, all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, uh, that's make, uh, made me think about, uh, We are blessed. Kita semua beruntung loh di sini. Kita only have two season. Kadang kita sometimes we oh like my son can see and get and say I want snow. I want to play snow. <laughs> They don't uh, understand how the dangers the real snow. <laughs> yeah, but uh, in our imagination is oh, snow snowball. Uh, <laughs> It's just yeah, a, yeah. a playful time, but uh, yeah. snowballs for him. Yes, but that's not real. <laughs> yes, I want to experience the real one. <laughs> yeah, you'll need to travel to America in the winter. I yeah. want to, but it's yeah. not me. <laughs> Hope the pandemic will end soon, and I really want to traveling there. Wait for yeah. us. <laughs> yes, yes. Come and visit. I'm waiting for you come to Palangkaraya again. Ah, uh, yeah, we want to. We want to come visit. Yeah, we miss a lot about Palangkaraya. Yes, people, everyone is so nice and we miss the food and even the, um, even the orangutans. <laughs> I remember you eat all kind of food. You use breath to try. <laughs> almost, almost all kinds. Yes, not quite everything. Fish, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not into fish because in our area, we don't have a ton. Well, we have salmon. It's different. But um, yeah, <laughs> I tried durian. That was brave. Oh. <laughs> okay. Any other question? Come on. Want to uh, want try the question or try to speak, practice your English? Anyone? Maybe from high pass you want to try? Sinta? Oh, Indri. Okay, Indri. Where's Indri? Okay. Sebelumnya, Bu, apa suara saya terdengar jelas? Jelas, jelas, Indri. Silahkan. Cuma muka okay. kamu kepotong. Mungkin kamera uh, yeah. kamu di biar nggak kepotong mukanya. Oke. Okay. Uh, good afternoon. I am Indri Rahma Putianti. Uh, I want to ask a question. Uh, how is the parenting pattern of mothers to their children to develop their active and childhood? Thank you. Wow, good question. So let me repeat that. Um, what is the pattern of motherhood parenting? Um, so how, how mothers parent here and how it's different in Indonesia, is that, is that correct? I think so. Um, let me think. Good question. I think just like Indonesia, mothers here all parent differently. We all have different um, styles. We have different children. Our children have different personalities. Um, good question. Uh, I lived in Indonesia. We moved there after our first child was born. And so I learned a lot from the Indonesians. So one thing that might be culturally different is in America, it is more standard for babies to sleep in their own bed. So in a crib, but Indonesians, uh, most Indonesians that I met, they have their babies with them in their own bed um, at night or with family. Everybody sleeps close together. And so I said, oh, I like that. I like how Indonesia. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> and I would that from Indonesians. Um, Indonesians also carry their babies a lot with a salendang um, or a baby carrier. And you might see more strollers in America, but I liked the Indonesian carrier. Um, so I carried my babies a lot and it was very handy. It was very easy and nice. Um, let me think what else might be different. I think Indonesians are very nurturing. I think Americans are very nurturing too. They just might have different cultural ways of doing things. Uh, one thing I love about Indonesia is everybody helps the mother. So um, if I went to the restaurant and I brought my kids, if, a, if one of my kids started crying, all the mothers would help. <laughs> um, in America, people are spread out a little bit. So if your kid is crying, it's not as common for other people to help or um, help you when your kid is crying. Your job is to take care of your child. So um, when I moved back to America, I let my son walk around the library because I was so used to the community helping me. And um, another mom said, hey, you lost your son. I'm like, no, I can see him. <laughs> um, and it was very surprising to me to move back to America and realize that here we do more individual family parenting. And in Indonesia, we do more community parenting. Um, when I fly on airplanes in Indonesia, everybody is so patient with kids. They love kids. Um, in America, people are patient, um, but I think Indonesians have a real gift or ability to love their community and kids and help mothers parent. So I don't know if that answers the question, but that is what I thought of when you said, how do mothers parent in each culture and how um, there might be some differences. So I miss that about Indonesia. Okay, Indri, Indri, so uh, Katie, uh, Katie Indri said uh, she has a problem with the connection. So I said to oh. her, uh, we have a recording, so no worry. Okay. Oh, yes, Indri, you can hear? Yeah, thank you. Okay. Yeah, thank you so much. Very good question. Yes, that's a good question. I see. Yeah. <laughs> Katie, uh, uh, need to think first before answer. <laughs> but that's a, a point again. Uh, so we have an information about the whole parenting parenting style there. About your state, about uh, more individual, and mm -hmm. yes, here at Indonesia, at Palangkaraya, at yes, uh, we have a. Uh, precious moment experience when we has a positive support system community that's uh, still in my mind <laughs> yes okay uh, any other question maybe one last question one or two it's okay two last question anyone come on come on come on tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> Jangan nyesel, ayo siapa yang dari tadi mungkin udah mau coba tapi deg-degan, nervous. Ayo siapa? Indri udah lega tuh, akhirnya udah bisa menyalurkan istiqomah juga, Nike juga. Ayo, yang lain. Oke? Okay. ada? Ayo, jangan. Oke, okay, Reni. Silakan, Reni. Madam Katie, <laughs> when to ask again? How much does it it's not in America? Say that again. How much? How much does it it's not in America? Oh, how much does it snow in America? Good question. Uh, every year is very different. Right now, we don't have very much snow. As you saw, it's very small. Um, but one year, the year, let's see, 2009, I think we got one meter of snow. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. About the thickness, yeah, about the 
this year maybe thicker than last year or maybe reverse it. Yeah. Right. Some years we get a little bit and some years we get a lot. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So, and we have to shovel all the snow around the cars so the cars can get out. Yeah. You ever uh, you ever that experience when you can go out because the all uh, the snow is so thick and uh, you can go to market, you can go out to right. go out home. Um, yeah, maybe one or two times. Um, the thing that is the most common is the roads will have ice. And if it's very icy, it's hard to go somewhere. So if it's icy, I might stay home until tomorrow <laughs> and then I wait. Only one or two days, not uh, one month yeah. or two months. We have right we have machines um snow plow that move all the snow off the street and then they put salt on the street to make the ice melt mm, ice. so there's yeah. a preparation for the snow yeah right okay yeah. thank you Rainy. any other question the last question come on it's a precious experience Okay, I will count until three. If you know question more, I will have a closing discussion with uh, Katie and then we have a documentation photo. <laughs> you remember yeah. Indonesian yes. style? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, any question? One, two, three? No question. Okay, I think there's yeah, uh, enough. Uh, from the students so I will try to have a conclusion for our discussion today so thank you Katie thank you so much for your uh, sharing we have a lot of information and knowledge about the seasons we have uh, now at your uh, country and your play at your place we do uh, you have four season that's a winter at December and Mar to March uh, there's a spring, March to June. There's a summer, June to September and fall, uh, September and to December. And I already told my students in America, uh, we said fall, but maybe in Europe or England or UK, we said autumn. Uh, yeah. there's, there's the same meaning, but uh, just a uh, different, different, uh, what is or something like that, yeah. but the same meaning. Uh, and we already know about the temperature there. And also we got about the information about the, how uh, we do, how they are doing in the winter season. We already saw uh, with the, our virtual <laughs> tour about the snow. Look at the Emma playing at uh, snow. Is it Andrea who, yep. yes, yep. she already uh, <laughs> be. She's so and, big. And tall uh-huh yes i still save uh, your family photo at my room uh -huh. we <laughs> yeah. still have a photo too andrea has it in her special box <laughs> wow say hi uh -huh. to andrea and aaron and also elia and now emma too oh my god yeah <laughs> yeah i miss you <laughs> oh, okay you. so Thank you for uh, your time, Katie. Uh, thank you also for all uh, my students, my beloved students, and the Adik Mahasiswi. Uh, this is a, a calm weekend before uh, they are have a final test in the next week and next Monday. So this is a gift, precious gift from me and Katie for you, the experience. Hi, Andrea! Hi. 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 Abakabar. Abakabar. <laughs> baik, baik saja. Andrea, do you remember Kenzie? Do you remember no. Palangkaraya? Yes. We still have your picture. Later I will send to your mom. And your mom will uh, show you. <laughs> nice. Okay, now we uh, have time for have the documentation 
maybe all of you who can open your cam, you can open your cam and we have a picture together with Kathy. Okay. And uh, hi, I'm Pepe. We'll help to screenshot. And also have my own screenshot. Okay, we in my screen there's two two screens. So I will try the first one. One, two, three, smile. Okay, the next screen. You don't know which one which screen you are, so just smile. One, two, three. Okay, now the last one. Uh, freestyle. <laughs> Silakan gaya bebas mau foto apa aja. <laughs> ya. Yeah. One, two, three. Oke. Okay. So, thank you so much, Katie, for your time. Nice to meet you and hope we can have a, the other virtual meeting. Yeah. Yes, thank you so much. This was very you want fun. To, you want to say something in Bahasa, maybe for like I promised before, this is the end, so you can try to speak Bahasa. Biar adil ya. Tadi kita udah belajar bahasa Inggris. Sekarang Katie want to try uh, closing closing statement in Bahasa. Hmm, saya kuatir bahasa saya masih kurang. <laughs> saya harus uh, coba ya. Ya. Yeah. Um, terima kasih semua, terima kasih teman-teman dan murid-murid um, untuk um, ikut um, waktu kami berdiskusi um, empat seasons, saya kurang tahu, kata untuk <laughs> musik, oh ya musik, ya musik, um, dan saya harap semua um, punya Hari ini yang bagus dan sampai kami ketemu lagi. Terima kasih. Say what guys? Kita sama-sama bilang terima kasih Keti. Terima kasih. Terima kasih Keti. Terima kasih. Thank you. Terima kasih. Bye bye. Bye. Sampai jumpa ya. Bye bye. Sampai jumpa. Terima kasih semuanya. Sampai jumpa lagi. Bye bye. Sama-sama ibu. Sama-sama ibu. Ya, semoga semuanya dapat pengalaman uh, ini ya, pengalaman berharga. Semua punya pengalaman. Oke, okay, nanti next year kalau ada mata kuliah ini semester depan atau semester akhir kita akan undang siapa lagi natifnya supaya kalian juga punya experience. Ya, oke, okay, bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Terima kasih bu.